So we go to item five, which is to renew. I guess I'll turn this over to Mr. Brown. Okay. Um, as you recall, at our last meeting, uh, we uh, were talking about uh, bringing the firm group back on board uh, for another year um, to our Washington D.C. lobbyists, um, and the board uh, uh, authorized me to work with the city to uh, come up with a local agreement and resolution to uh, move forward to work together on obtaining the Washington D.C. lobbyists uh, and, and, and work specifically towards. Uh, uh, negotiating with the firm group uh, for a, a lower price. Um, I've been working with Aaron Baker, who's in the back there um, from the city, on uh, the efforts. Um, and I have a memorandum in the packet. Uh, uh, Aaron has been quite responsible in, in working with several other uh, lobbyist uh, uh, groups um, and has found several that uh, uh, were significantly less expensive than the firm group and um, has uh, performed interviews. I uh, worked with Aaron on a couple of them. And uh, uh, since that time, uh, Link Browder from the uh, Furman Group uh, has been in contact with Aaron and I to find out, you know, where we're at and the prices. Uh, Link uh, uh, you know, regretfully uh, withdrew their proposal uh, to provide services to the district and to the city because of costs. Um, feeling that, that they could not compete with any, any costs that were lower, um, which we did. So basically, uh, for you tonight, um, um, so the board, we've, we've got several documents in the packet uh, that we'll need uh, the board to take action on. Uh, first one is a resolution to be able to work with the city on, his, on their local agreement. And the second one is the actual... I would get into item six on that, though. So oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Item five. So basically, so, yeah. what we're looking for is to terminate this agreement and then move on to item six. Yes. Right? Yeah. Just not. Or do you want to read both items right now and <coughs> use them? Do we even need to do that? Where he's already withdrew his proposal. I mean, yeah, I think he re re he re withdrew his proposal, but not his current contract, yes. right? Well, it's up tomorrow. Yeah, it's up tomorrow. Yeah, the, yeah. It, the, it's up November 15th, so we have oh. about 10 days. Um, we got to so, give them a 30 day notice anyway. Yeah, and, and 90 days under the agreement. Oh, so the, so it, the, I don't know that there's any, any action needs to be taken to terminate, but the, it's going to expire on its own in, in 10 days. So I don't know that any action needs to be taken with respect to the actual Furman uh, agreement itself. Uh, it's just a matter of, uh, I think um, Kevin was just kind of letting the board know that the Furman group is no longer interested in. Uh, competing with potential, <coughs> potential lobbyists to serve the district going forward. Do we uh, need to let this item die? Then? Uh, I think you can let the item five die without any action taken. Okay. And, and just unless if you wanted to take formal action, uh, acknowledging the fact you're not going to renew with the firm group, and you can let that agreement terminate and actually own its indicated term. Um, uh, item six is that okay. the board. I'd just like to thank you for the services and um, appreciate the uh, things you've done for us in the past. Um, I think that we it might be a good idea just to send a letter just acknowledging that. Okay. Okay. Maybe a basket with some good diamond chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the item five died for lack of action, so we'll move on to item six. Mr. Brown. Okay, item six is uh, as I was starting to uh, mention, that um, is a resolution uh, and an interlocal agreement uh, to allow the district to work with the city on procuring uh, Washington, D.C. lobbyists. Um, uh, the other portion of this that I will need specific guidance on is uh, if, if you do approve the resolution and, and your interlocal agreement, is to continue to work with the city to uh, specifically um, tie down and, and figure out who uh, we would bring back to the board at the next meeting uh, to recommend to be our Washington, D.C. lobbyist. So I guess has the city uh, firmed up on anybody yet, or are they still in the process? He's shaking his head. Yeah. As, a, as, well, a city, as the city voted on this interlocal agreement? It hasn't been voted on. There's information in the back of material that we had tech review today. I, I mean, if it's appropriate, Mr. Baker's back there. He could kind of give you some general information of 
where costs are going to be in uh, the different groups, if that's permissible, if legal counsel doesn't tell him he can't. But I suggest he take five minutes and, and maybe give you what he's uh, what, what they worked together and found uh, right. for the both okay. entities. Well, I just from my standpoint, it's kind of I mean, if we if the city's kind of already decided on who they're going to use, or or you haven't voted on anybody yet. Oh, okay. We have some recommendations, but there's been no official action. Okay. okay. That's fair. Yeah. Board, appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. Um, we do have a recommendation in our packet. It is for uh, from Patton Boggs. Um, the individual's name, her name is Vicki Cram. She currently represents the city of Las Vegas as well here in Nevada. She has a great relationship with the uh, Nevada delegation. But to cut to the chase, the uh, new price tag for the city and the watership would be $65,000. It's a savings down from 175 for both yeah, previously. Right. So and the recommendation for the split is what? Uh, 4520. Yeah. And she would do with uh, not to exceed of a thousand dollars per trip out. And if we can coordinate it, we can split those costs obviously as well. But um, it would be a, a two year agreement. So okay. that's what the, that's what's before them um, right now. So okay, so thank you. Are. And that's the savings of over fifty thousand per entity. Yes. Yeah. So it's 100000 to the residents of the valley. Yes. Representing the city of Las Vegas, she comes with great credentials. Yes, yes. Um, they, they highly recommend her, as I call their city manager and their director of administrative services. Um, they recommend her greatly. She also represents the city of Portland, um, Miami-Dade County, and Bellevue, Washington. She's represented Boise in the past, San Diego. So there are a few cities that she's worked for. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Let's see. I guess the first thing we need to do is approve the resolution. So yes. I'll ask for a motion. Mr. Chair, do you have any comments? No, no, oh, excuse ahead. me. Go Mr. Ahead. Chair, I'll make a, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we um, uh, approve the resolution uh, and interlocal agreement with the city of Steep uh, for the uh, federal lobbyists. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your hand. All those opposed. Discussion. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I, I, I just have a question. I mean, it does say that we're going to split this, and, and the recommendation, the suggestion it is before it goes to city council, is the 65-45, and ours would be 65-45-20. Do we know exactly how, what about our scopes of what particularly might be of more value to the district? versus what might be of more value to the city and how we know we get what we need. <laughs> Not that we ever really know that we're going to get what right. we need, but the projection is... is yeah. um, at this point, um, all that's before the board is to approve the interlocal agreement to work with the city to, to jointly procure the services of a federal lobbyist um, in, in the hopes that we can reduce the cost that was being expended by both entities. Um, the actual hiring of the, the lobbyist is not being considered by the board at this point. Uh, there is a recommendation from the city to hire uh, Patton Boggs. Uh, apparently that's who they've decided they're comfortable with at this point. Um, but, but they've not even been formally hired by the city yet. Um, based on the wording of the interlocal agreement, the, the, each entity will actually enter into a separate agreement. We'll, we'll negotiate costs together, but we'll actually the, the district and the city will enter into separate agreements with patent box if that's what ends up happening, if that's the entity that the, the district selects. And so at that point we'd set forth the scope of services and sort of, sort of what, what matters and things we'd actually want patent box or whoever the lobbyist ends up being to, to work on behalf of the district. Thank you. Okay. The information Mr. Baker stated was what was in the packets for the city council, the recommended right. proportions and all that, and who, who we should hire. And, and that detail uh, I should have back to the board at the, our next board meeting. Okay. So we and have something a, we can improve of or disapprove of at that time. At that time. It'll be, it'll be, it should be an agenda item for the board to consider. Okay, we had a motion and a second. We'll call for the vote again. All those in favor, raise the right hand. 